Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel, and for today's video, we're back in Hunting Sim 2 with some more legendary hunts. Now, uh, if you look around, you might actually see some new faces here, but uh, no spoilers, let's just look at the hunts first. So I'm out here yet again hunting for sheep and pronghorn, and I looked over, what, over there? Yeah, I was like, oh look, cougar. Well, what's this white thing walking up? Another cougar. But that is a legendary, I, I don't understand. I've almost been strictly killing sheep and um, pronghorn. So this is kind of leading me to believe that it doesn't actually matter what species you hunt. It, it'll just, it'll be. <laughs> It'll be what it is. Oh boy, he's a ways out there. He's headed to the right. And he is, wait, wait a minute. I don't even think I have that stand. That stand he's walking by right now? I don't even have that. Okay, well, let's start over here. Oh, and for the Bobcat, I have a Carbon Wolf 85 and a Carbon Wolf 85. I think this one should be 243. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's not, wait, that's the stand? I don't have that stand. That's actually interesting. Look at that, he's all blotchy. Even more important, that, I, God, it was like right, let's see. It was right down here I got the mule deer. Oh, and I actually have a collar for him. So I'm gonna get to the right side of this cliff here. Where'd he go? Oh no, how do you, you how do you lose a bright white cougar? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's like coming straight at me too. So I honestly feel like this is as good a spot as any. See how close he's gonna get. And then I'll just call him in if I could quit losing him for two seconds. Is that him right there, that little white spot? There he is. God, what an interesting coloring. Yeah, come right in, bud. I remember in comments a while back, someone was suggesting it was like you had to kill 30 animals. And I don't remember if I read it or if I just assumed that meant 30 of a specific species. But I'm really starting to wonder if it's just you got to clear the population out enough. God, are you, uh, you're going to make things difficult for me, aren't you? Yep, probably. So... I can just barely see him there. Don't want to turn my head too much. I want to be able to keep an eye on him. He says as he almost immediately loses eyesight. Where did he go? This rock here for a little bit of extra elevation. I may or may not call him in. I don't know. We'll see how close he gets. If he gets up past this rock, that'll be a good, good shoot right there. And this is the correct caliber weapon. Good to know. Actually, you know what? Just to be on the safe side. Well, it does in fact look like he's coming into the call. You know what? New goal, 100 yards. I've been having very bad luck with this rifle. God, what? That's almost close enough right there. But I'm gonna get greedy. He's beelining right through these trees. Come on, buddy. Come out right down here. Did, what? Oh no. Did I miss? <laughs> ah, that's a good looking deer right there. Look at that. That's a big old white tail. Jeez. Alright, um, wait. That's not good. How? That should have been, like, right in front of the left shoulder blade. God, that is a massive white tail. I mean, if I didn't already have a legendary white tail, I'd definitely go after that guy. The rack on that thing is huge. Oh, oh, he just, he just went down like 700 yards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there he is. Real quick, I want to see if I can get this guy. Curious about his, uh, because that rack looks huge. Is he really going to stop right there? All right, I'll try one, but I think this is 308. We'll see if he keeps coming. Spooked him. Doesn't look like I hit him. He's actually kind of running goofy. Did I hit him? No, just his back legs are together. All right, well, enough futzing around. I can check for blood on the way to get to the cougar that's all the way back there. Yeah, I hit him here. It's not a heavy spray, but I mean, that's enough for me to sit there and wonder how he was able to run so far. Better get a move on, I guess. Would you look at that? I did hit that deer. Oh, he's bleeding. 
There he is. There he is. All right. Look at that. A legendary cougar. Awesome. I just want to pop to the top of this hill. Look at it. Wait. Blood trail for the white tail. Let me get up here if I can. This has to be him. There's only been two butts responding. That's him. Got him. Yep, this is him because he was bleeding coming up here. Yeah, you look pretty big. Kind of squished rack though, actually. But I will take you all the same. Uh, sell the pronghorn, sell the desert, sell the little white tail. And real quick, I want to look at this white tail. So he's a 282. And he is bigger, older, with the same size rating as the legendary that I have now. So I'm guessing if it weren't for the fact that he wasn't, that he's not a legendary, he's he's pretty massive. All right, well, go ahead and sell him. And now for the cougar. That is less weight, slightly bigger in size, and actually slightly older. Huh. All right, well, let's keep him. Again, I'm hunting... Where'd he go? I'm hunting those guys. Sheep. And pronghorn. But what I keep finding is everything but... Where'd he go? There... Uh, no, nope, that's another sheep. What, is he feeding on the other side there? Well, that's not good. I could have sworn I just spotted a legendary whitetail. Now, I already have one. That was actually the first legendary I got. But I'd swear I just spotted another one. Which is a little annoying, because that's now two legendary animals that are repeats that have, this map has turned out, instead of the animals I've actually been hunting. Matter of fact, I know for a fact I haven't shot any whitetail since the last legendary I pulled off of here, the, uh, what was it, a mule deer? So, I guess it really doesn't matter what you hunt to turn up a legendary. I don't know where that deer went, but, I mean, I can't pass it up, right? Guessing my best bet is either go to that plateau or try and climb that hill. But considering I haven't seen it walk out, it could be right behind that ridge, so... Getting over there might help. There's the bighorn. Didn't I see him crossing over here? That's not good. Coyote. Pronghorn. Another pronghorn. That's what I was actually coming over here for. <laughs> Shoot. Hang on a second. I just got a call over here, but it didn't register. I wonder if that means he's over here. No, nothing. There's an elk and another elk. I guess I'll take this opportunity to get up this hillside here where I'll have a better viewpoint anyways. <laughs> I love how I get over here looking for a legendary whitetail that I just spotted. And now I have, look, I got a bison walking up on me. I got pronghorn, I got bighorn, I got elk, coyote, whitetail disappeared. I'm passing up so many kills right now to get this legendary whitetail. The thing is, I have the sneaking suspicion, and I've answered comments like this as well, that the population is not permanent, meaning if I go back to the lodge and restart the hunt, the animals will reset. And also that I believe, could be completely wrong about this, that there can only be one legendary per map at a time. So I have no choice. I either need to kill this whitetail or go reset the map. Otherwise, there's no point continuing to hunt. Not if my goal is legendary animal. But for the chance of possibly getting a better white tail than the one I have, the only thing that concerns me though is I swear I saw him cross this way. This bison don't care. So I guess I'm gonna keep uh, looking around, see if I can't find him again. Great, so finally find some whitetail, and I don't think he's there. All right, Wilson, I'm gonna need your help with this one, bud. So far, all I've managed to do is find some corn, job. and hopefully that'll lead us to him. Come on, buddy. All right, Wilson, where are you? Oh, dear Lord, where did he go? Come here. Come all right. 
Last known track. Track this. Where is he? Can he not figure out his way up here? There he comes. There he comes. Come on. Track that. He did turn. All right, let's go get him. Good job, Wilfred. Not only did you find this track right here, but I see something over your shoulder. Who's a good dog? All right, so you... I need to make you stay. Or maybe you will stay. All right. Now, where did the bugger go? That's it. No. There you are. Let's just go prone right here. You look very much like the other one. You might actually be smaller. Hopefully you turn right. So you've been over there this whole time. Because I know I went to that outpost and walked all the way around over there. Just got to double check and make sure. Yeah. And I went to an outpost that's... Er, outpost. A tent. That tent. And I scanned from there. So how I missed you is a miracle. I lost him. No. What? How do I keep losing a white deer? Oh, no, wait, there he is. Oh, Lord. Yes. Come here, buddy. All right, he's coming. Oh, boy. What's the range to the bottom of this? I'm 100 yards up. This is a 300-foot drop. Yeah, sort of. 240, 270, something like that. Not the kind of shot I'd want to take, but you know what? I'll try it. Oh, especially if you're going to do that for me. Yeah, do that again, would you? Go down already. Wolfred, come, come here. We're going to drop down this 300-foot cliff like it's nothing, because, you know, Call of Duty. And uh, see if you can't find him. I don't think... Did I keep calling him Wilfred? Wilson. Wilfred's the other dog. Wait. Oh, that's Pronghorn. I was like, has he been wandering around here this whole time? Where'd he go? He's trying to find a way down. Oh, God. Well, hello there, Mr. Legendary Whitetail. I wonder if you are bigger or smaller than the last one. Looks smaller, but I could be wrong. Just got to, uh, I guess wait on, wait on Wilson here. Hey, there you are. Welcome to the club. Where are you going? Come over here. Can you, can you find the deer? Good job. You found the deer. What Good job, good Butteroo. Job. Butteroo? Butteroo? I, I meant to say, that, that was a combination of Buddy and Buckaroo. Butteroo. All right, whatever. Legendary deer. Bag it. And he is identical score, identical size, but he is slightly older by a tenth of a year, and he's 16 pounds heavier. Wow. All right, I guess I will keep him. Holy crap. Where'd he go? I gotta lie down. Look at him, he's monstrous. Oh, I can't screw this up. Let him get good and close. Oh, was that too high? I think it was too high. Oh, that wasn't... And that one was too low. Oh no. Oh, come on, buddy, you have to bleed out. He's still, he's still wandering. I gotta get to him. Oh, Lord. Where's that first trail coming up here? I need to know if I, if I hit him the first time. I don't, I don't know if I hit him the first time. Oh, oh, he's down. Oh, thank God. I was so worried. I was gonna have to try and figure out if I could shoot him again. So of the two species I've been trying to grind out of this map, the desert bighorn and the pronghorn, I, I've been working at this guy now for probably close to two weeks, actually. And I finally got him. A mature legendary pronghorn and it looks like i missed the first shot entirely yeah but i got the second shot 
You got something to say there, bud? I hate how with the predators, it's not very obvious. Like, look, did I miss? How did I miss 80 yards at that range with a carbon wolf? All right, let's see here. And finally, he's actually older, heavier, and higher scoring. Nice. Keep. Finally. Because I've been hunting the bugger for like two weeks. And now I have no idea how to get to him. Other than just to go straight at him. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh my lord, he's right there. Ooh, I almost walked right up on him. He's a biggin. I'll finally have my match set across the bookshelf. Turn, you little bugger. Yes, yes. Looked like a good hit. Just walking slower. Drop. Dropped. Yes. Now, unless I go after Coyote, this is the last legendary to pull from this map. It's kind of creepy looking. And he is 303 pounds. Holy massive sheep bat, man. 15 years old. Yeah, keep you. So there you have it. Now I have a, a cougar here who's got some weird things going on. I, I kind of wish I could crouch in here. I, I can't, but there it is. Legendary cougar. A new legendary whitetail, which once on the wall actually doesn't look all that different from the last one. But there it is. The legendary pronghorn, which again, I, the only problem with having these kind of fixed mounts is, you know, you're, you're limited at there. That's the best look. I'm stuck between a lamp and a couch. And maybe someone could tell me, but, uh, you know, I know the black part is the, like, sheath of the horn, not the, the root. So why is it white when it's mounted? That, uh... I may not be knowledgeable enough about taxidermying to, to figure that one out on my own. And then of course, last but surely not least, I now have matching rams. So I have my regular bighorn sheep with a 352 legendary and my desert bighorn sheep with a 352 legendary. Hang on a second. 303 1.1. Oh, that one's much, much smaller. I guess you wouldn't be able to really tell by looking at the head mounts that that is half the size of that one. Eh, maybe. 1.3 yard curl or whatever they're measuring. 1.1 yard curl, 15.2 yard years old, look at me speak. 15.8 years, huh. And now I'm finally done with Bandera. I, I actually don't know what I wanna go for next. I really would like to get red deer and fallow deer handled because then at least this wall here would be completed because I already have the pig and bison and roe deer and cougar and mule deer. So maybe it's back to Europe next. Plus, then I can start working on the bears, which I always find funny because like that grizzly bear and that brown bear. Which one would you say is bigger? That grizzly bear, right? That thing is huge. Okay. Well, we look at this brown bear. It's 1,092 pounds, right? Big bear. This grizzly bear is 392 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that, that bear is one third the weight of that bear. Some of these things don't make sense. But anyways... That's going to do it for this one. So hopefully you enjoyed the video because there's buttons if you did, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.